So some pretty crazy stuff is happening on the JP side of the game right now. And whether you're a global player or a JP player, it doesn't really matter. All Dokkan players need to know about this. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. But you know what? Before we do that, I don't want to say I called it guys, but I kind of called it. If you've been watching me for some time, you might remember a video from a couple months ago where I talked about a hypothetical category called the dynamic duo category that would contain units that either had two characters in their name or in their card art or in their character sprite. And what you see before you right now is pretty much that category, but now officially coming to the game. I mean, they call it the combinations category, but it essentially fits all the criteria that I talked about in that video. And all I gotta say is that I'm a freaking prophet. <laughs> I was right. I called it and Bandai should hire me right now. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, guys, I just think it's really cool that this category I talked about in this video, just as a hypothetical, I was like, you know what? This would probably be too OP. They're probably not gonna introduce it anytime soon. And look at this, a few months later, we're actually getting this category on the JP side. And even more crazy is the fact that it's being led by a free to play unit. And even more crazy than that, it's freaking Yamcha. Freaking Yamcha is leading one of the most OP, probably the most OP category we've ever seen in this entire game, guys. The combinations category. So, you know what, before we talk about just how insane this category is, why don't we do a quick overview of this new Yamcha unit. And if you guys aren't aware, he is going to be the next World Tournament local ranking rewards, just like the original Piccolo was, um, just like the Tien and Chaozu LR, and now he's going to be the next World Tournament LR for local rankings. This is his card at the SSR state, TUR, and lastly, whoops, the LR state. I think I was looking at some information, but that is the card art for the LR state. And just based off this flat image with no animations, it already looks awesome. It already looks freaking amazing, but yo. <laughs> You, you gotta believe me when I say that this is one of the best looking cards in the entire game and it's a free to play card, man. With the animations going and everything, it just looks amazing. So, go check it out if you have your own time, um, you know, on your own time. But right now, we're gonna look at the stats and everything like that. Or, uh, you know, the, the passives and the leader skills, stuff like that. And we're gonna pop over to the Reddit to get the help of our boy Goresh on the Dokkan subreddit. And he translated everything for us, so let's just quickly take a look here. So. What he's saying is LR Yamcha and Puar, uh, Puar, Awakening of the Wolf, and their leader skill is Combination Category Key Plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 100%. So this is at the LR state. Of course, they're not going to have 170%, 177%, whatever, because they are a free-to-play unit, but 100% Key Plus 3 is already very solid, and it'll be even more solid when you look at what the actual units in the category are, right? His super attacks are Wolf Fang Fist and Wolf Fang Fist. Okay, so it's... Wolf Fang Fist for both the 12 key and the 18 key. 12 key causes colossal damage and lowers defense, and 18 key causes mega colossal damage and massively lowers defense, which I believe is an 80% decrease to the enemy's defense. It's, it's insane. That's, that's a huge, huge debuff. His passive is the Wolf's Weakness, attack and defense plus 20,000 when launching a super attack, which is okay, but I mean, you never really want those flat boosts, but it's always like that with free to play LR, so you can't ask too much of that. Further, attack defense plus 10,000 when launching an ultra super attack, okay? So total of 30,000 attack and defense on their passive when they're doing a 18k super. And when there is a Peppy Gals enemy present, Yamcha will be stunned guaranteed. So what he say, the way he said it, make it makes it sound like Yamcha stuns himself, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure he means that he will have a 100% chance to stun the enemy when the enemy is a Peppy Gals unit or a character. So like you're fighting a Bulma, you're fighting a Chi Chi, you're fighting whatever, any unit that would be in the Peppy Gals category, not a Pan, Pan's not in there. So uh, yeah, so any <laughs> Peppy Gals unit will be guaranteed to be stunned, which is kind of cool, I guess. It, you're probably not gonna be fighting a lot of Peppy Gals, but um, it's there, I, I like that mechanic. I think it's, it's pretty dope, so that's cool. His links are Rival Duo, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Speedy Retribution, Infighter, The Incredible Adventure, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. So, not so good links, but that's okay. And categories are Combination and World Tournament. We also got some other Awakenings, but I won't talk about them in this video. I might talk about it in a separate video for the Majin Vegeta, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, and so on and so forth. The Janemba as well. That will definitely be in a separate video. But that is the new Yamcha, right? Yamcha itself looks really cool. 
you know, okay card overall. He's not going to blow you away by himself, but the main thing we really care about is his category, guys. And it is pretty much the most OP ca This is basically an LR category. You know what? People have been asking for or, you know, speculating about a potential LR category. You know, a category with just LRs, right? This is not called the LR category, but this is basically the LR category that we ask for. Look at these freaking units, guys. Okay, they're like, oh, I mean, there's an LR Androids, whatever, but yeah, okay. There's also LR Goku Black, which has Zamasu and Rose. There's also uh, LR Mighty Mask, Goten and Trunks. There's also um, freaking Rage Vegeta. Rage Vegeta has a category now, and he is still one of the best TURs in the entire game, guys. He is freaking insane with those counters, so he finally has a category. Um, LR Vegito, one of the best LRs in his entire game. LR Gogeta, same thing. LR Beerus, come on. LR Metacooler. LR freaking Goku and Frieza. LR freaking Goku and Frieza. Any category that these guys are in, they're freaking busted. That's a freaking busted category, right? I don't even care if he's only giving 100%. That is a busted category. And of course, we got LR Cell as well. I'm sure I missed somebody. I mean, these guys are cool too, but you know, they're not really the highlight, man. We don't really care about them when you're looking at all these. Up LR Bojack. How did I forget LR Bojack? Oh my god. Okay, so imagine this team right here. LR Yamcha lead, whatever, but uh, you also, let, let's say you add in LR Vegito, LR Gogeta, LR Bojack, LR Beerus, LR Goku and Frieza. So that's a team, but maybe you want to put in LR Mighty Mask instead of LR Beerus or you, like, like, okay, when the team, when, when you're deciding whether to put LR Mighty Mask or LR Bojack or L LR Goku Black and you're deciding who to kick out out of those ones, or LR Cell, maybe you should kick out LR Cell, like, you know that category is busted, <laughs> okay? It's busted when there are so many OP LR options that you can't even put all the LRs that you have, all the broken ass LRs that you have into that team because the team only allows for five slots aside from the actual leader himself, right? So, man, I just, I, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, man. It's, it's freaking Yamcha, okay? This category is being led by freaking Yamcha. All right, like just just think about that for a second. Yamcha, the guy that is known for being waste, for not being able to do anything, he is leading the most broken category we've ever seen in this game. And I don't know what they were thinking. Um, I still called it. <laughs> I'm never gonna let you guys forget about that. I'm gonna be talking about it in like future live streams and videos as well, but Man, I, I just can't believe that this category is actually a thing. Um, and, just, you know, just to refresh your memory, <laughs> if you guys forgot about it from a couple minutes ago, this guy is free to play. Okay, he is obtainable from the world tournament that's coming up on JP. And he's going to be the local reward. So it might get very competitive for local rankings because I think everybody's going to want this guy. Everybody's going to want at least one copy of this guy to awaken him and run this insane 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 category so if i had this guy right now i play global so it's gonna be a while before we get him but if i had him right now i'd probably run him with lr gogeta lr vegito um lr mighty mask lr goku black and probably lr cell and yeah okay my subs okay i'm gonna make this joke for you right now <laughs> i'm not gonna put lr goku and frieza and you guys be like whoa tiger why don't you put lr goku and frieza because i don't have them okay it's been a running joke on my channel now for the past couple weeks months people keep asking me in showcases and on live streams hey tiger why do you throw up uh, lr goku and frieza on that team why do you throw lr goku and frieza or super saiyan 3 goku lr super saiyan 3 goku is another one i don't have either of those so they're like why don't you put him on the team man i think he's better i'm like really really you know i don't have him you know i don't have it but anyways side note not important this category is busted. LR Yamcha himself is okay. He's not super impressive. I'm sure his damage will be fine. But it's really about this category that he's leading that is blowing my mind. Because this is the LR category. This is... It's not called the LR category, but it's basically the LR category. I, I call it the Dynamic Duos. I think that's still a better name. But Combination Category. There you go, guys. And you know what? Now that this category is a thing, now they're actually adding to the game, I'm sure there will be a Dokkan Fest unit that is leading it as well with a much more much much higher you know leader skill right 170 percent 177 percent maybe like lr goku and frieza so i'm still predicting in in the video that i talked about the dynamic duos category i said lr gogeta lr super saiyan 4 gogeta 
would be the leader of the category. Um, so they would obviously start off as Super Saiyan for Goku and Vegeta as the sprite and on the card art. And then once you meet some conditions, they would, um, you know, they would fuse. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't even talk. They would fuse into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? And I was like, that makes a lot of sense for a leader of a dynamic duos or combination category. So possibly, possibly we will get a Dokkan Fest unit. Maybe that will be the fourth year anniversary, man. It makes a lot of sense too. Four year anniversary and also this combination category out there. I'm predicting still, my, my prediction still stays the same as that video I talked about where I said four year anniversary, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta will be the leader of a Super Saiyan or no, a uh, dynamic duos or now combinations category. And I think that is still true. I think it's still happening. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think of this category? What do you guys think of this Yamcha? What is Bandai thinking? Why are they not hiring me yet? Why didn't I get a phone call yet from them? <laughs> but anyways, um, also, yeah, what do you think the leader, the Dokkan Fest leader for this category will be, who has 170%, 177%, or even higher, maybe 200% on their leader skill? I think it's LR Super Saiyan for Goku. It could also be Gohan and, and Piccolo. That, that could make sense. Or... Um, Goku, no, not Goku and Chi-Chi. I would, I would like that, but I don't think it's going to be a thing. <laughs> but, you know, there's so many other options out there. But uh, I think LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta makes the most sense. But anyways, that's all for me. This category is busted. My mind is still being blown. I don't really know what they were thinking, but that's going to do it for today's video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, make sure to like the damn video. No, that's not what I say. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all of my latest content. And also follow your boy on Twitter. At EatLikeGoku is my handle. And it's a new account, so I want to make sure that you guys know about it. But that's all from me today, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.